There are places where information is stored not in the form of files, not in the form of dusty books, but in the form of exhibits. In the form of such exhibits, which until recently could not be seen. All of this is due to the secrecy. But today, times have changed, and much of what was hidden from the eyes, opens the curtain. Moreover, there is a very serious reason for the opening, the 100th anniversary of the creation of a special purpose garage of the Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation. Having got to the museum for the first time, I did not even doubt where to start the cycle of stories prepared for this date. You will ask why. Even among government cars there is a car, so to speak, let alone, but I have been looking for for a long time. Model ZIL 111A. As you probably already know, government cars in the days of the USSR were always peace goods, so 111A was produced in 70 copies. Then they were replaced by the converted 111G, but this is a slightly different story. The appearance of new government cars was most often associated with the emergence of a new government figure, the General Secretary. So it was this time, Nikita Sergeyevich Khrushchev wanted a new car, that had never been seen before. At the Stalin plant, the preparation of a new project was already in full swing, but the foundation still remained old, from ZIM-110. And if with the technical component it was clear where to develop, then there were problems with the coordination of the exterior. Neither the plant management nor the people from the government liked the prototypes. And now the most important thing. This ZIL model, is similar to GAZ, or rather to Chaika. Why? An artist, a designer from GAZ, Lev Aramiv, was invited to create the look. Volga, 21st, and ZIM belongs to his pen, and such recognizable headlights, with chrome-plated eyebrows. It must be said right away, if the ZIS was a copy, then the ZIL-111 became a fantasy of Soviet designers on the theme of luxury in cars. And this theme, the theme of luxury cars, was in charge of all the same Americans. In addition, the Secretary General wanted his car to look no worse against the backdrop of President Eisenhower's fleet. Packard, Cadillac Flitwood, Chrysler Imperial, these cars became the artistic inspiration of our limousine. At that time, the world was ruled by a pontoon body layout, a design element typical of cars from the 1940s and 1950s. What is it all about? Such a body is formed, as it were, by merging the front and rear wings with a single upper line. and plenty of chrome. It's better not to say anything about the radiator grille and front bumper, but it's even better to pay attention to the emblem with Yuri Dolgoruki against the background of a gilded bird. Come on, chrome is everything. The frames of all glasses are chrome, the line from the front to the stern is chrome. Even the taillights, the so-called fins, are also chrome-plated. We have a late-year car, you can identify it by the wide pillars and a small rear window. This indicates the presence of air conditioning. Branch pipes go inside these racks. Only 47 of these machines were produced. The trunk. There is an opportunity to open it. Most often, the trunk was not used as a trunk. More often, special communications or some other secret equipment was installed there or air conditioning. Imagine, a box weighing 330 pounds, and it will be installed here soon. The hood opened from the street. For some reason, no one was afraid. For the safety of the car and spare parts. Oh. 
The new car needs a new heart. ZIL has already been developing a promising engine for the ZIL 130 truck. Its dimensions fit perfectly into the concept of the car. And now more about the characteristics of its heart. V-shaped 8 with a volume of more than 360 cubic inches. Maximum power 200 horsepower at 4200 rpm. Maximum torque 442 newton meters at 2200 rpm. 4-chamber carburetor K85. Of course, the engine was different from the cargo one. First, it was assembled and configured manually. Secondly, there are other heads here, a higher compression ratio, 9.0. And the engine was running on extra gasoline with an octane rating of 94. And this is also the first production domestic car with a V8. Progress. It should be recalled that each ZIL brand limousine was assembled by hand, in a special workshop for cars. And most of the cars came at the disposal of the special purpose garage. The rest went to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the USSR. Needless to say, the interior of the car is spacious and comfortable. But you know, no matter how strange it may sound, the passenger compartment is quite democratic. There is no pretentiousness in it. Everything is concise, velair and carpets are everywhere. Stropentines. And yet there is still plenty of room. Glass, with electric lifts, but, but at the same time, the rear window opens. From this place you can not only lead the country, special communications, but also a radio in front. And also, do you know where the air conditioner is turned on? Right here in the back. Fresh air, off. Here is, a thing that blows air. Lighting. Beautiful. Or you can take it, and close yourself from the operator or from the driver if he is too talkative. I start the engine. Brakes. And oil. Oh, what a sound. This car would carry buses. And here, by the way, 3 tons of gross weight. Yes, here's another thing, the box here is a 2-speed automatic, and you don't have to look for a lever, the speeds are turned on with buttons, and everything is through neutral. D, forward movement, P, reduced, ZH, reverse, everything is in Russian. There is more than enough room. Armrest, it is interesting that the stove turns on, with the lever down. It works, we direct, the air flow to the windshield, with the lever down. The headlights turn on like on the 21st Volga. What else? Ashtray and glove compartment. Technically, the automatic transmission resembles a box from Chrysler Imperial, only the domestic one is more massive, since it had to withstand 200 horses. In theory, the 111 accelerates to 60 miles per hour in 21 seconds. The maximum speed is 110 miles per hour, which, you see, is more than worthy. But the consumption, which few people counted 7.6 gallons per 60 miles, a 32-gallon tank could go a long way. Maneuverability and stability are facilitated by different track widths. Narrower in front, wider in the back. Of course, we will not accelerate the car, but it can definitely do it. Here it is much more pleasant to drive slowly, sedately. The ZIL 111 already has power steering, and you know, despite the length of more than 19 feet, I can do it pretty well even the first time. What else did I notice? In the past, people were shorter. 
I feel uncomfortable driving. Despite the fact that there is a lot of space below, I can't move away from the steering wheel. I have to sit proudly behind the wheel of a car, so to speak, in the level. And ZIL slows down confidently. You press the pedal like on a modern car. The amplifier here is vacuum, but the brakes are drum brakes. A few words about the suspension. It hasn't undergone any major structural changes. Behind the bridge, resting on springs, and in front spring independent double lever with shock absorbers. It was shown for the first time at VDNKH, and we go right there. Well, I'm just saying. The FSS Museum is also located at VDNKH. There is a huge collection of cars and each car has its own history. And I am 100% sure that Nikita Sergeyevich Khrushchev rode in this 111th ZIL. Or maybe not. He, in fact, then wanted to change the appearance of ZIL to another. Automotive fashion rushed by leaps and bounds. The shapes, outlines, technical stuffing of the machines were changing rapidly, but our government cars did not. They did not keep up and quickly became obsolete. In addition, the Chaika from Giesi, which was considered a car for more modest comrades, looked too much like a car for the first persons in the state with its fins at the back and visors over the headlights. Silence and peace. The frame is rigidity, not a single creak. And how does suspension work? You do not move over obstacles, but roll. And indeed, I don't want to accelerate on this car. I want to calmly, slowly move around and sleep. Therefore, in 1963, the Likachev plant produced 111 G. But this is a slightly different story, which I will definitely tell you, but later. To all this, many connoisseurs will say that domestic government cars are copies of American ones. No. This is a compilation of the best technical solutions from around the world, transferred to our reality. You can argue, comrades, and I will continue to tell you further.